Yeah, Bill, those officials saying that part of it is staffing shortages in the emergency communications department here in the city and also a sheer volume of calls at that time. I must have come right inside right before he showed up. Tracy Ford says she did not see 58-year-old Lester Epps when police say he showed up on a neighbor's porch in Fulton Hill armed. Ford did hear gunshots ring out from two RPD officers after police allege Epps pointed a gun at them. We called 911. They never picked up like 20 rings and nothing before we hung up. Not getting through to a 911 operator has Ford thinking about security at her own home. Do something to protect myself, especially if you're going to call and it's going to take that long or not get through at all. The CBS 6 Problem Solvers contacted Richmond Emergency Communications about this. A spokesperson telling us the department is currently short-staffed with 22 vacancies out of 75 communications officer positions. As for the night Ford called, the department says they got 147 calls from 10 to 11 p.m. Sunday night when the Garber Street shooting occurred. Officials say 121 of those calls were answered in less than 10 seconds. Our thoughts and prayers are with the deceased family as well as with our officers. Monday, Police Chief Gerald Smith revealed it took the two RPD officers who shot Epps 20 minutes to respond to Garber Street from the initial call. There was another incident that took place at the first precinct at this time that pulled the staffing to that incident. A pretty major incident. That scene was a double shooting near Mosby Court. RPD says the two responding officers were called in from the third precinct, which is common practice. The two officers were in separate parts of the city, which officials say account for why it took them that long to both get to the porch on Garber Street. This individual stayed on the porch the entire time. Back to that 911 issue, officials telling us if you do call 911 and you're having trouble getting through, the best option is to stay on the line until someone gets uh, answers your call. They're answered in the order they received. And they say it's not a great idea to call people back. But if you do have trouble, they want you to file a complaint. We have information on how you can do that on our website. It's WTVR.com.